My name's Nessa, I'm a sophomore, I go to Pace University. This is my fifth camp. I did three summer and two winter. My favorite moments in camp was walking across the lake because last year when I had a camper, Abby, um, she's fully visually impaired and has a cane and the entire way she was dragging me. She was like, come on Nessa, like, we can go faster and she was encouraging me when I'm supposed to be encouraging her to get across the lake and she's like, oh we're almost there, we're almost there and she had no idea how close we were. Like, so it was, it was a great experience. The pre roll program is kids up to 14 have a, uh, have a chance to get inv uh, involved in the workforce and it's like a practice for the work field. So kids from 14 up get to help out. Uh, they have a little bit of CIT in it and a KP duty is a kitchen patrol where you help out in the kitchen, you know, serve the plates, uh, clean after the table, wash the tables, sweep. It's amazing. For me, I think it's really, I feel more confident in myself and the things I do, and I feel more intelligent in the decisions I make. And I feel like if someone was new to this pre pro program, I could be able to teach them a little bit. And I feel very confident in myself. So my name is Dylan Drexler from Rochester, New York. I go to Utica College. Um, and I'm in my last year of my master's program. So this is my third camp. Um, last winter was my first camp, and then I did the summer, and now I'm here for my third and second winter camp. I just like seeing all the kids get together, and you know, they work really well with each other, and they're not afraid to do anything, really. They never say no. Some things they've never done or never thought of doing, and they come here to camp, and. It's, it's amazing to see that they're out there loving every second of it, so I just think the camaraderie amongst them, the young kids, looking up to the older kids, you know, it's a, it's a good thing to see, so it's definitely a good atmosphere, a good environment. I like skiing, it was scary going down the hill for the first couple of times, but after like the sixth or seventh one, I got used to it. And snowshoeing, I um, enjoyed staying above the snow and not really going that deep into it. I liked it because I got exercise, but at the end I was very tired. It's a very nice place to be. It's made me feel excited for when it comes up. I love tactile bingo. I This is the first time I got five in a row today. Tony told me there would be lots of prizes, but apparently not. And besides, I really wish I had a magnifying glass from it. And, and, and I wish I had another skateboard because I lost my mini one and I would like an extra one from Tactile Bingo. Camp is so awesome because I get to have fun with all the new friends and the old friends. I'm just excited to go fishing with all the counselors and to be cool and fun and happy. Ice fishing was fun. So we split up into two groups the morning group, it was it was windy, so it was it was pretty cold. But that group, they did all the nitty gritty stuff. So I think we had uh, seven holes. Um, so a couple kids were digging holes with the, the big drills. It was funny to see because the drills are pretty much as tall as them. Um, but they're out there and they're giving a hundred percent effort. So then second group comes out and all the holes are already done. So smooth sailing for them. A couple nibbles, but. We didn't catch anything, which is okay. Um, and it was good to see that even though they weren't catching fish, they were also on the try, you know? So it was, it was good, a lot of fun. When I do fish, I think, it's, I think it's very interesting because there's a lot of key factors in the fishing that I find really interesting. Like, like patience is a big one, which don't have that much patience, but, but I think it's really amazing how people can 
like be there for like 20 minutes to even almost half an hour just waiting for that one bite and I, I, I like the adrenaline rush like especially when you're waiting for so long and you finally get that bite and you just reel it in cold air is blowing at you it's amazing two years ago I, I was fishing in uh, Campbellies Brockport and I caught a bass I didn't know I caught it <laughs> I was talking with friends and my counselor goes hey I think you got a bite I reeled it in and we got a bass I was happy just because they're normal kids and a lot of people don't view them that way. And they really inspire me because if they don't have full vision, they can do everything so. And it's really inspiring that they have bigger goals than normal people do. End quote. Look at the sky, we are not alone. The whole universe is friendly to us and conspires only to give the best to those who dream and work. Faith Murray, Veteran Camper, Official Campabilities Cabbie Ambassador.